Hi everyone. So I know I was a little bit late to the trend with the Dubai chocolate bar. And I'm even later now with using shredded wheat. But I decided to make a Kinder inspired Dubai chocolate bar using Morrison's white chocolate hazelnut spread. And I don't know why Becky does things so incorrect, dude. Only Becky would take out that cereal and decide to cut it up into pieces rather than finding something flat and smushing it with it. Even if you've got like the bottom part of a, a soda can or something or a water bottle and just just went to home with it, just hammering it down. I don't know why Becky decides to make all the things in her life ridiculously hard, which is true. Becky is perpetually living her life on hard mode, always making her life ridiculously way more difficult day by day because she wants to eat. And you know what? Right before this video, if you look on her TikTok page, she did a workout. She said she did a 30 minute workout and I don't doubt that she did a 30 minute workout because she had a Fitbit on her on her wrist and it did say indeed that she did work out for 30 minutes and she said that it burned like 250 calories, which is literally irrelevant, especially if you're considering that our girl Becky, right after that video was created, decided to eat a gourmet chocolate bar that she made herself. You, I just don't know why Becky decides these things, dude. Um, it's fine, by the way, if you want to eat chocolate bars. I just really hope that you're doing it within your calorie deficit and not blowing out the entire workout that you just did. What is the purpose of working out for 30 minutes and burning any dom denomination of calories if right after you're literally going to say, you know what, even though I did just do that, let me just go ahead and waste my time because that is what you are doing. I mean, if you're going to burn 250 calories and need a chocolate bar that's worth almost a thousand, it is irrelevant. That workout is, you might as well not even do that workout. It was probably a detriment to your kneecaps and your ankles and your lower body because of the amount of weight that Becky carries on herself on a daily basis. But you know what? Any exercise is a good exercise, but at her size, dude, I couldn't imagine it being anything other than uncomfortable. Every step that she took, it was probably like pins and needles on her kneecaps, dude. I mean, she's burning away that cartilage every second of the day when she takes a step on those legs but you know what becky doesn't really care it doesn't seem like she's really put a lot of effort into understanding the nuances of her body um it kind of just seems like she just does whatever she wants and somebody somebody somewhere will say becky you should probably work out and she goes you know what yes i will get healthy by working out when in reality working out is really not what you're supposed to do when it comes to losing weight working out is like the icing on the cake the thing that you do just to increase the progress or maybe put on a little bit muscle while you do that it's fine to do that, but for Becky, she doesn't care because she does it because she's trying to appeal to other people when in reality, what you should be actually doing is a calorie deficit and not eating gourmet chocolate bars that you made yourself, which is really, really crazy, by the way. Inspired Dubai chocolate bar using Morrison's white chocolate hazelnut spread. And if you haven't had that spread... I, it's just like, there are so... I'm sorry, this, I, I know we just interrupted this shit. I don't know why Beck... Like, even if you just took your... You don't need a tool for this. Just take your hand. Your hand is big enough. Trust me, I see that. Just take your hand and just smush it. Just smush the, the, the cereal down. And that would be way more efficient than that. There's no... I gotta keep it a solid buck with you guys. Ain't no way I'm looking upon a housing for eggs. Who... Please, somebody, please let me know right now if I'm wrong. Please let me know, dude. Do you guys put your eggs in, like, a house outside of the fridge? Is that sanitary? Is that okay, bro? Ooh, what is the growth on the inside of this egg, bro? Are we... Are, maybe I'm dumb. Maybe I'm dumb. It's the same thing, too, with any type of pastas. I'm literally putting them into the fridge. I don't care. I'm not trying to get asbestos or whatever growth, the amoebas growing on my food, especially not eggs. I'm pretty sure you're supposed to, if I'm wrong, somebody can let me know down below, but I'm pretty sure I'm not wrong on this. Why are your eggs outside of the fridge in a housing? It's cute, but it's dumb. Somebody let me know if I'm stupid. It's amazing. So I basically melted some white chocolate. I had to use a loaf tin. A whole big thing of chocolate. It would be better if she just ate this. The fact that she's putting a pre-made chocolate bar into one that she's already making is insane. I haven't got a chocolate mold. Put that in the freezer to set. You know why you don't have a chocolate mold? Because nobody has a chocolate mold. Nobody ever thought, you know what? I, I, I'm going to this one. You know what I should do? I should get a chocolate mold. You know why nobody has one? It's because it's irrelevant. Nobody, Nobody's making chocolate. Nobody is going out of their way to make chocolate. You know what I'm talking? It's like uh, the same thing with like ice cubes. Nobody has an ice cube tray because nobody makes ice cubes, okay? Like you just buy them or you just don't need them. I, I remember when I was growing up, like ice cubes were like really, really cool. Like everybody had them. But now anytime I ever go over to somebody's house, nobody has ice and I don't care. Like I don't really drink anything that requires ice. I don't really need anything that requires ice. So for me, it's not really a big deal, but for a lot of people to sit there, mo most people just don't need the ice cube trays and you especially don't need a tray dedicated to making chocolate bars, Becky, especially not you, especially knowing that you're, 
the serving sizes for her bowls are massive, by the way. And it kind of looks like she's been chewing on the side of them a little bit. But anyway. Crushed up some shreddies. Once the white chocolate had set, I melted the dairy milk, put the first layer of chocolate on, and then fried off the shredded wheat until it was nice. And I, I really feel like this is not the right thing to do here. I don't think this is actually shredded wheat. I think that <laughs> I think that there was an actual ingredient called shredded wheat, and she just did her best. And I think she took it too literal. But, like, wheat, what are these things called? Like, wheat thins or whatever? I don't know, bro. Does Becky do anything in her free time? Like, does she have, like, anything going on in her life at all? Like, does she not have a hobby or, like, she have friends or a boyfriend or a girlfriend? I don't know. I mean, whatever. I don't care. Whatever to me. I don't care. Whatever you want to do. There are plenty of things that she could do throughout the day. Drink alcohol. There could be that. There are plenty of things that she could do. But she it seems like she, her whole day is just occupied by going to different restaurants and or ordering Uber Eats throughout the day or making diabolical concoctions in the in the, in, in the kitchen all the time. It is like that's her that's her that's her hobbies is just eating or making things to eat, which is really really sad. I mean, it's okay to eat, but in my personal opinion, if I could have a life where I didn't have to eat and I would suffer no consequences for that, I would do that. I think eating is really irrelevant i think a lot of stuff that we do is really irrelevant i'm trying to get as much done as humanly possible throughout the day and sleeping is hashtag gay if i didn't have to sleep dude oh man i would definitely not do that and eating would be a close second right after the sleeping but i would only choose sleeping because sleeping is literally just you doing nothing at least i'm eating i can do other things while i eat but i also peep that a lot of people have a lot of sleeping problems in our in our modern world like i literally knew dudes that would just sleep two hours a day and they would just fall asleep like randomly like i'd literally be talking to them on the phone it'd be quiet for like 20 like literally be quiet for like 10 minutes or something and i go yo bro so what do you think about this and no response call me back like 10 minutes later 20 minutes later yo bro uh, i just woke up bro i'm good i'm good for like the next 40 hours and i'm like what the fuck are you talking about bro some people are literally working off of two hours of sleep a night and i always think you're gonna die at like 42 if you only sleep for that long and i get it everybody's got like problems with sleeping nowadays but it's also not helping your diet because if you sleep for like three hours or something like that or like five hours and you wake up and you think that's optimal there's a reason why you're obese because your body needs the it needs a place to rest and it needs the the time to like to heal up your body but it's never getting that optimal rest period so it has to make up for that by eating a lot more calories throughout the day and i've been peeped this like i have a fantastic sleeping schedule i try to sleep at least eight hours every single night but I know there have been some times where I can't and I have to sleep maybe five hours a night, right? And because I sleep for those five hours a night, I'm unusually hungry throughout the rest of the day. And that is tragedy because a lot of people have sleeping problems consistently, dude. Crispy. This took me around 10 minutes, I'm going to say. I added that into the bowl along with the white chocolate hazelnut spread. Which I, wonder, honestly... I wonder if Becky has a dishwasher or she does her own dishes because I hate doing dishes and it just kind of seems like she's just adding in things for no reason. Okay. Like I said, if you haven't tried it, you need to. Hazel white chocolate favored spread. So more chocolate, dude. All right, dude. I mean, hey, you know what? If you're making your own deluxe gourmet chocolate bar, dude, why not? Dude, your hands are so greasy. What is this? What is all this residue on your hands right here, bro? What happened? What did you do? Were you just eating something right before this that was really greased up? Wouldn't be, wouldn't be surprised. So, oh. Somebody's got to let me know about those eggs, bro. It's just like kinder. Mix that together. It kind of looks gross. The way she's like slopping it out. Like you could have used anything to scoop off that. Whatever. Uh, and then it was time to melt the dude. other dairy milk bar. The first layer of chocolate had set. So I put the filling More in. More chocolate. After melting this chocolate, yeah, of course. More chocolate is put crazy. Put the filling in. Spread it Dude, back. two different chocolate bars and you use chocolate in the wheat thins. And then you're going to put chocolate on top of that. that all and around. she put a layer of like, uh, she put the swirl chocolate on the base. Found. And then put the melted chocolate on top of this. I was a little bit worried I didn't have enough because... What do you mean you were worried you didn't have enough? That's a fuck ton of chocolate. What are you talk? What is Becky even doing with her life, bro? Like, do you have... Like, dude, go to fucking school. I don't know. Like, there are literally so many other things you can do. And instead, you spend your entire day worried about whether or not you have enough chocolate to make your fucking deluxe chocolate bar, bro. Do anything else, literally, bro. It's insane that this person has no hobbies in their life. Dude. Pick up a hobby. Go collect Legos. Go read a book. Go drink, like, iced tea or something. I don't know, bro. There are plenty of things that you could be doing. Go look at pictures of, like, orange peels on Google. That is way more beneficial for you than making deluxe chocolate bars in your free time, which happens to be all of the time. I could see the filling coming out. 
And I was like, oh no, but it honestly worked so well. I am so proud. What do you mean you're proud? You did nothing. You just like stirred chocolate on top of chocolate on top of chocolate. And you're talking about something you're proud. Like, you know what I'm talking about? Like, what do we do? Like, what kind of accomplishment is this? Like, you can you imagine you're, you're talking to a group, group of your friends and your guy goes, man, you know, I just graduated from school. I got my master's degree, dude. Almost no debt involved. I'm going to be great. It's gonna, I'm going to go out into the, the world and I'm going to get a great, amazing job. And this other girl comes over nowhere like, bro, that's actually so amazing because I just got this job as a nurse. And you know what? It's making me great money. It's awesome. It's like my, it's like my calling in life. What about you, Becky? And Becky goes, right, so I made a deluxe chocolate bar because TikTok told me to. And it was banging. It was so good, let me tell you. So I know that you are a nurse. So you know all about this, right? Chocolate is amazing, obviously. So I would give you some, but I accidentally ate it. All of it. Sorry. Yeah, sorry. It was good, though. It was really good. I have a video of it on my TikTok if you want to look at that. That is her. That's her day. That's what her accomplishment is. It, 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 making the deluxe chocolate bar. And your, 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 your accomplishment is going to school or having a job or taking care of yourself, I guess, which Becky apparently does none of, so... I need to find a proper chocolate mold though, but look oh, Dude, at you don't need to find a chocolate mold. You, you, you're really good. You're actually fine. It's not, you, it, nobody ever was like making enough chocolate to actually need a chocolate mold. You're good. You made two of these chocolate bars in a week and that's, insidi that's some insidious shit. I'm gonna keep it a buck with you, bro. The fact that you even made one a year is insane, but two, and then also I gotta point out her hands are all over this shit. Ain't no way, no way. I'm giving my mouth over to this sweet delicacy after Becky placed her grubby, big, meated mitts all over that shit, bro. I don't want your backwater hand muffins all over my shit, dude. And you know what? I wouldn't even eat this anyway. I would not trust Becky's culinary skills, dude. I would rather trust an Indian man making me like one of those street foods where the dude's like rubbing on his dick and then makes my food with the flavoring of his meat. I would prefer that than it would than, than I would Becky's hands grabbing up on the chocolate bar that she just made in her kitchen next to the eggs that are literally supposed to be in the fridge that she just put onto this like plat this housing or whatever dude whatever man i don't i'm just upset at this yes it gets messy yes i got chocolate everywhere but it's on it's all over this place bro damn man dude becky becky must not do the dishes bro i know she does why is it wet oh it's got fingerprints all over it dude fingerprint 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 it kind of looks like she drooled on it over here bro which makes sense you know becky get a little bit hungry sometimes dude look at the sheer girth of this thing bro massive bro god damn this shit is big as fuck becky you gotta calm down man there are plenty of things you could be doing in the day and you know what i would have preferred to eat literally almost anything else the fact that you made a deluxe chocolate bar too and she's the only one eating this no way somebody's gonna put their mouth on that shit after becky basically just rubbed her hands across that shit honestly so tasty hi everyone just, welcome it's to just my... sad bro you gotta is that a fax machine what are you eating oh no that's a chair uh, she's got like one of those chairs that old people sit on and it like takes you up the stairs. A lot of people were saying that she uses it, but she was very adamant at the fact that her legs do work indeed. So yeah, I had a McDonald's breakfast before. Of course, I mean, yeah, we got to get the start off the day with the McDonald's breakfast. And I'm not even I'm not even actually opposed to people eating McDonald's or Mackey's or whatever you call it. It's fine. I just hope that when you do eat it, it's not so incredibly crazy amounts of food like Becky does. Um, and also, don't eat it so often, bro. Becky literally talking about some, oh my god, guys, I have to go to Mackey's because I haven't been in literally four hours. It's been so long. So I had to get this. You just take out this takeaway. Oh my god, it's so good. It was absolutely banging. Later on, we're going to go to Greg's and it's going to be amazing too. I'm going to get myself a big beef patty. It's going to be great. And then, you know, after that, oh, I'm going to get, I'm going to get an Indian. I'm going to get an Indian. Before I went to Paige's Morris dancing competition. Double she just finds excuses to get fast food. Like, oh yeah, I went to the, I went to Paige's dancing lesson. So, you know, I mean, I didn't have time to cook naturally because like, even though I had time to cook that chocolate bar earlier, I don't really have time to cook. Which, you know what, bro? I'm calling Becky out. She literally did a video like a week ago where she was saying she doesn't have time to cook food. 
but she just did a whole ass tutorial on how to make a deluxe chocolate bar. How do you have time to cook that, but you don't have time to make like a few things in, a, in the air fryer for later, bro? Like you can't make a sandwich? How long does it take to fucking make a sandwich? I made one yesterday. It took like 34 seconds. Literally just put the bread on a plate, maybe a little bit of mayonnaise, put some deli meat on that shit with a piece of cheese, slap it together. There you go right there. You know how long it took me? 34 seconds. Put it in a Tupperware. You're good. You're good. Wrap it in some saran wrap, whatever the fuck you got. It really don't fucking matter, dude. You think it matters? To wrap that shit in a fucking condom. Literally would be better than what the fuck Becky be eating in a day, dude. Chomping down on Mickey D's 24-7. Such an egg McMuffin with a hash brown. I never really change my McDonald's breakfast order because I like what I get. Yeah, but you do you do. I saw this I saw this woman before get like a 20 piece at McDonald's for breakfast. So she does, she'd be lying. So why change it? <laughs> I do need to put the hash brown though on the McMuffin because everyone's been saying it's a game changer. You gotta put this. So if you guys don't know, you put the hash brown in between the egg McMuffin because it's like, uh, I don't know, two for the price of one, even though it doesn't really fucking matter. Like, I guess you can go ahead and do that. I guess it doesn't really fucking matter, to be honest. It really doesn't matter. I mean, you, it's calories regardless. Ollie obviously had some term, nearly bit my fingers off. Then when I got to Paige's comp, it was an outdoor one, so I got a nice cup of tea. So for some reason, Becky sometimes be looking really weird. Sometimes the filter don't be smoothing out her skin to the same degree that it does in other places. Like when she's in her house, I see the smoothing action go on like pretty, pretty, pretty drastically. I, I don't see a lot of pores on her face, but sometimes when I see the pores, I'm like, them things is big as fuck, bro. Her eyes are slowly being suffocated too by the sheer girth of the skin around her eyes. To warm me up because it was very windy. I had some chicken. Look, it says what I'm fucking talking about, bro. Like Becky, I real, I just, I gotta keep it a bucket. You, I hate so much that Becky goes to these dance recitals and uses it as an excuse to body slam some crazy amounts of calories. I don't know. Like, it'd be one thing if she was actually using her legs or, like, walking around with them or something like that. Nah, she'd just be sitting down. She'd just be sitting down and she'd be eating, bro, for hours. Just watching her sister or whoever this cousin is, you know, dancing, burning calories. And I guess she thinks that somehow that means she's burning calories or something. Like, metaphorically, I have no idea. But she doesn't. She just sits down and she eats. And you know what, dude? What a life. Satay bites. I always get so nervous filming that because everyone's around. Why does it matter, bro? Like you, lit you know what? I, I know. Okay, look. Maybe there's a little bit. And when you're in social situations, it's a little bit different than posting a video to your TikTok where literally millions of people are gonna see. Which, in my opinion, doesn't really make sense. You would think that the millions of people seeing you body slam thousands of calories a day would be more embarrassing than the few people at your dance recital class looking at you eating food like does it really even matter dude probably not dude i remember literally i was out with this dude and he, we were like a group of people right people i did not know and he was like david can you show me that picture of that like meme that you had earlier and i showed him the picture of my the, the my phone right and i was scrolling through and i was like oh yeah it's this next one i pulled through and it was a dick pic it was my dick pic obviously it was my it was my meat and i was like oh bro my bad that's my meat and he was a little bit shocked by it but i'm just thinking like dude like what are you expecting dude like let me see your phone let me see your dick i know you got your dick pic on that shit too don't don't act like you don't have nude pictures on your gallery at any given point in time this is my this was my whole phase bro i was literally i didn't have time to take a dick pic every time i needed a dick pic i had I had already oriented dick pics. Uh, I took the best ones. I d had the right lighting. Maybe you put it next to a water bottle or something like that for, 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 you know, practical effects or something like that. Sometimes I would even do some, you know, even some extra stuff too. I'd put it next to the sink or something like that. Have it dripping into the sink or something. Maybe you get cardboard cutouts and have your meat going through the cardboard cutouts. Like your meat is like a, like Godzilla or something like that, dude. It's all about, you know, perspective when it comes to a lot of that stuff. But he was like shocked. He was like, bro, was that your dick? And I was like, yeah, that was my meat, bro. My bad. And he was like, bro, why do you have that shit, bro? That's really gross. And I was like, bro, come on. You're like, what are you doing, man? Come on. Like, I'm, I was at the gym literally like four months ago and there was like a Japanese or like Chinese dude that came out of the bathroom and his meat was just hanging out and I'm, I didn't say anything about that like I didn't have a problem I mean I did have a problem I didn't want to see Chinese man meat but the point I'm making is be an adult you know what I'm talking about you saw my dick so what dude it's a privilege let's be honest come on stop it I had chicken and bacon pasta these glasses ain't it I'm gonna keep it a buck bro these Bono shits bro ain't it nope mm -mm. gonna have to say how so, solid no to this bro also, I think it's like really blasphemous, okay? I'm not really religious, but to sit here and have the cross next to the Harry Potter fucking Deathly Hollows is insane, bro. What a crazy ass thing to have next to each other. Got my hair got stuff in my mouth, ew. It doesn't matter, you know what? To be honest, dude, all the shit that Becky's had in her mouth, her hair is probably an up upgrade. I could see my skin getting really red throughout the day. I think I got windburn. 
What the fuck is wind burned, bro? Is that when your girlfriend farts in your face and then you have like pink eye or something like that? I've never heard of that. Some of these Cadbury snack things. Bro. Always love my little Sunday pat lunches. Remember? Why you don't, don't, don't ever do that. Don't, if you're, if you really care for Becky, if you really care for Becky, bro, Always love and you're over Sunday here giving her food like this, what are you doing, bro? You're, you're, you're literally doing this woman a disservice. That's not the right wave, okay? Get these shits. When she go to reach for that shit, be like, nah, psych, you don't need that shit. Just tempted you. You know how it is, bro. You don't need that shit. Look at you, bro. Big as hell. You don't need that. You good? You good, Becky? Cheers. My mom bringing the caramel slices. That's your mom? And then I had some Domino's pizza when Damn, I bought it. bro, dude. Your whole day is just garbage, bro. You... I, you gotta really try hard to make your day this fucking bad, bro. Domino's Pizza, by the way, is very, very ambiguous. Like, I don't have the problem with the pizza itself. The fact is, she said, I had some Domino's Pizza. I don't know what that means, by the way. That could literally mean the box. That could mean a slice. But let's be honest, it's never gonna be a slice, especially for Becky. Becky literally be dumping the sauce packets literally all over the all over the pizzas, too. So, whatever, how many calories this is, a slice, probably triple that. Mm. Love you all. Love you, too. I'm celebrating with a McDonald's. What a beautiful celebration. I don't know what we're celebrating, but you know what? It doesn't really matter. Uh, we're celebrating another year of life where I guess I made it. You know what I'm talking about, dude? That's really what we're, that's That's probably the another day, another McChicken, another McNugget, another large fry. Becky really loves to eat McDonald's, dude. And I get it. It's the definitive fast food place. But she need to calm down, dude. She be doing this shit way too much. I've never, by the way, seen a nine-piece nugget. Who sells nine-piece nuggets? That's crazy. Just get the ten-piece. So, I got nine chicken nuggets. I actually only asked for six, so nine. Yo, why Becky lying? Why is she lying so hard? Did you not hear what she just said right there? I'm gonna go back real quick. I know the music is playing in the background. Try to focus real quick. <laughs> So, I got nine chicken nuggets. I actually only asked for six, but they gave me nine. I only asked for six, but they gave me nine. Becky, do you think that is even believable in any way? Why would we believe that you ordered six and they gave you nine? Why would we believe that? Given your track record. Given the fact that you don't give a fuck. Let's be honest. I want to know. No, 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 no. I want to know. You think I'm that dumb? You think I'm stupid enough to believe that this nine piece was actually a six piece, but they threw in an extra three? Becky, come on. Let's be let's be honest here for a second, bro. You ordered that nine piece. You wanted that shit in your mouth. You wanted to lubricate your throat with all that processed fucking bone, foreskin, all up in that, dude. It's all good. It's all good. I don't care. Go ahead. Munch on that shit. I just want you to represent. I want you to say with your chest. I ordered that nine piece because my stomach was asking for it. My mouth was watering over the nine piece. Just say that. Don't try to lie and say that six piece turned into a nine. That doesn't even make sense. Dude, when have you ever gotten more from your McDonald's order compared to when have you got less? That's all I'm going to say. I got some fries, a Coke, and I'm so excited. I McFlurries are terrible. Always disgusting. I don't care what anybody says. Anybody that likes McFlurries, I do not like you. No, I love you. But obviously, McFlurries are gross, and they're like the lowest form of ice cream. They're not. They're barely even ice cream, in my opinion. It's like just sugar condensed in a white fashion. And they tell you, yeah, it's ice cream. It's not. It's terrible. It's gross. It's disgusting. And by the way, drinking a Coke and then eating McFlurry after that is diabolical, dude. I couldn't even imagine the taste in your mouth. Like, you ever brush your teeth and drink orange juice? Worse than that. This right here is literally like, the Coca-Cola is already going to numb your mouth, which is one of the reasons why I would never get Coca-Cola, unless it was by itself. If you're just drinking Coca-Cola by itself, fine. But I wouldn't do it because I don't, have to, I don't really drink soda. So, there's this. And then you move from this, which is going to numb your mouth, to this. Right after that, dude, it's you, you're not even going to taste this. Like this, I mean, it already doesn't even have a taste, but you're not going to taste it right after the Coca-Cola. It's too much sweetness. It's literally just sweet on top of sweet. Got the cream egg with flurry. Love this sweet curry sauce. And of course, a poop. Think of Your dog is judging you, bro. Dude, your remote looks like a dildo. <laughs> Or does, right? Like a big, like, you ever see those gummy worms, right? You know what I'm talking about, dude? You can't make porn with, uh, you can't, you, you can't make porn with food, by the way. You can't do that on certain platforms. I think it's okay on other platforms. Like, I saw a woman one time use a piece of corn, and I saw a dude, there's actually a guy on YouTube that has sex with pizzas, so that's okay. But you, he doesn't show it. Like, he doesn't, he just talks about how good it is. Like, there's a big black bar over the, you know, the him just, you know having sex with a pizza or whatever he says is good depending on the pizza meat lovers i heard is actually pretty optimal i don't know but uh if you're having sex with a meat lovers pizza 
there's like a 10% chance that that might be gay just off the basis of that. And you know what? I was thinking about this recently, right? Why is it when we see two women in a bed together, nobody has a problem with that. But why when we see two men in a bed together, everybody's thinking that they're sucking each other off and there's anal sex occurring. Why is that? What is going on with that shit? And then I thought about it a little bit more. I think, right, of all the feminism arguments, the pay gap, the, you know, women not being able to get promotions and things such and so forth, I think that's all irrelevant if we're not actually touching on the things that are really big issues. Like, if men are laying in bed together and there's a good three to six inches in between them, it's not gay. And it's okay to lay in bed with your boy. It's okay to lay in bed with your homie. Now, granted, if you're, if you're scissoring your boy or you're cuddling up next to your boy, you're spooning him. That's gay. I'll, I'll definitely agree. And also, if you're sucking off your boy while in the bed trying to use that as an opportunity to not be gay, that's gay. That's 100% gay. And I think it's really fucked up that women can, like, just recreationally eat each other out. No problem, by the way. Not, not homosexual in any way. Like, girls will literally just be like, oh, yeah, my friend came over. You know, we were watching, like, Polly Pocket, and I was doing my makeup. Uh, you know, her vagina was in my face. Obviously, I had to ingest it. And then we went out, and we went to the club. And I'm just thinking, like, this is gay. Like, that. if you're eating out your best friend, and this is, like, a casual thing that you do, that's gay. In the same way that if I was to go over to my friend's house and accidentally suck him off, that's gay, too. I'm not going to be accidentally sucking off my best friend. It's just not what I'm going to do, right? Um, but it would be interracial, and it would be very progressive. Can you imagine that? Because all my friends are very, very black guys. So can you imagine if I was gay and dating a black guy, bro? Whew, bro, man, I'm reaching, like, multiple realms of oppression at that point. Time for the Queen Edmund Mmm. She barely even tasted it before it went into her mouth, bro. She's a fucking liar, dude. I hate this shit. So good doesn't love cake for breakfast okay becky cake for breakfast is, is an abomination also this is completely undercooked why is it so goddamn greasy and wet in the middle of this dude uh this is not something i would eat but definitely something i'm thinking about other things to do too definitely that yeah but not eat and then also for breakfast becky <sighs> why are we doing this to ourselves? and why do you have to every single time you make a concoction why do you coat it in chocolate? Why do you just, how do you just have chocolate to be coating it in this? Like all the time, everything that you eat, anytime you ever cook something, it's always perpetually coated in chocolate, dude. It's like a trend for her. I have, I have no idea why she does this to herself. Mm, so good. Who doesn't love cake for breakfast? This morning I made- Your fucking doctor, bro. Your doctor, bro. And by the way, Skin in the banana like that and just toss into peels like that is crazy. Need a Maltese and banana loaf cake in the oh, She left the strings. She left the veins of the banana. Oh, dude, skin your banana correct, bro. You can't do shit right, bro. Air fryer. I started off by my dude. The fact that she's using a fork to to smash this up. A fork actually would have been better for earlier when she was mashing up those, like, little cereal bits. That would have been the thing. Well, I don't know why she used a knife, bro. Up two bananas and add in one egg, some vanilla extract, and 150 milliliters of milk. Then in one of my blenders, I popped some rolled oats in, blended them up, and then added them into the mixture. As well as adding in some self-raising flour, 100 grams of this. There's no measuring here. Give it all a here. mix before adding in some Horlicks powder. 30 grams of this one. I got this inspiration from an account called What I Ate for Breakfast. I've used Maltesers Dude, with my you have a masher. Why didn't you use the mat, bro? Get th I'm just, you know what, bro? I don't know if she's just rage baiting at this point, bro, but this is actually crazy. Fine. Use the knife so like I you did before. I put in a bag and crush them up and adding this into the mixture and giving it a good mix. Then it was time to put it in my lined loaf tin. Dude, she loves that. I love a good loaf cake. Let me know if you make any in the your air fryer. recipes. So in the air fryer, it went on 170 for 30 minutes. Now I could have left this a little bit longer. I know it was still a little bit wet inside, but <laughs> honestly. Yo, calm down, Becky. You can't be saying it like that. Honestly, once it sat on the side, it firmed up. I put some dark <sighs> chocolate on the top. And again, you can add lots of different things on top of this and fillings, to be honest. So, yeah, like I said, it could have gone in a little bit longer, but to be honest... Dude, it's wet. It's not even cooked all the way. Why are you letting your hands touch the top part like that? I, I, 
People that put their food in their hands as frequently as they do, I just always wonder why are you doing that? Don't you have like forks or utensils? Like we've evolved so heavily over the last few years and yet people still grasp their food with their hands. And I understand if you're like chicken wings or other finger foods, like finger foods are fine, but cake, bro, we're good. We have utensils, okay? I don't know why Becky refuses to use them. By the way, really undercooked, bro. It's literally dripping. Honestly, it was so lovely. I could taste the melted chocolate inside. Do you think anybody else is eating this? Keep it a buck. I'd as well. Hope you all enjoyed. Nobody enjoyed Good this. Good morning, everyone. So, the loaf tin is making another appearance. Probably the most it's been out this year um, in the last couple of days. But I really want to make... Um, do you remember when there was, like, the Christmas bark and stuff and you'd put that... Um, you put like yogurt and then all sweets or chocolate and then no. all sweets on. No, Becky, nobody, I don't know what your algorithm looks like, dude. You, you do not think it's an issue when you open up TikTok, you're finding videos of people making weird concoctions of chocolate and other, other types of sweet foods. Why, why is that, bro? Like if I open up my, I don't have a TikTok algorithm. I have no idea what my TikTok algorithm would be. But if I open up my YouTube algorithm, I'm going to find a whole bunch of videos on Star Wars and probably a whole bunch of videos on maybe like the Greek, like the ancient Greece, right? Like and all that other stuff. I don't know why your algorithm is literally just food. Don't you think it's an issue? Don't you think it's like a problem, dude? Like that that, that is just recommending you consistently over and over again. These like and you think it's a good idea to make them? Why? Why are you doing that? Most of those videos are just rage bait anyway. But for some reason, you're like feeding into it and you're going, oh my God, I can make that. And it'll be so good. But anyway, Becky, go ahead. Let's see this concoction. Um, I really want to make a raspberry one because I am obsessed with the true fro chocolate raspberry, frozen chocolate raspberries. So I've got some wonky raspberries and I've got some dark chocolate chips, which I'm going to melt. Um, and then Why? I'm just going to put it in here and then put it in the freezer and see how it turns out. So it will just all be in this one video. Um, I'm hoping it will be quick. Chocolate usually sets pretty fast. So is it so is it just like fruit with chocolate on it, Becky? Is that like all it is? Why is it this easy for you to always coat your food in chocolate? Like why, you know you don't need always, you could just eat the raspberries by themselves, right? Like I understand raspberries are not exactly what people think they are. Like a lot of people that eat raspberry flavored food, it doesn't taste anything like what actual raspberries taste like. Raspberries in real life are disappointing. Very, very disappointing. Kind of like that first time you were like, dude, because how many people have told you? I remember when I was going to high school, people would tell me all the time, bro, vagina tastes delicate. It's so amazing. Like I had this one guy, he literally told me that his girlfriend's vagina tastes like Chipotle. And he was telling me it was good as hell. And I knew this other guy that told me it tasted like uh, dryer sheets, right? And I was thinking like, so vagina is just like great. It's going to taste amazing. It's going to be like the best ever. And then I remember going down on this girl and I was like, this is disappointing. It's not exactly, it tastes like nickels or like pennies or something like that. I remember when I was like nine years old, I probably sucked on a couple pennies. I don't know why I did that, but that's what I did. I had nobody around me telling me it was not good to do that. I don't know why I just like put them in my mouth and sucked on them. I probably got like 18 diseases from that, but I'm okay now. But it's like that. Like, you know what I'm saying? You, you think that the fruit is going to taste good and then you put it in your mouth and you're like, it's not that good. It's not as good as I thought it was going to be. You guys lied to me. I thought na I thought nature was good. I thought nature was going to give me the delicacy. It's not, it tastes like water for the most part. Very, very disappointing. And, but you know what? It's still good for you, I suppose, especially better knowing that you don't put chocolate on it. But regardless, uh, Becky just doesn't care, I guess. You know, it's like whatever for her. And um, this is just roughly getting in here. The raspberries sure. going in, and then I'm going to put the dark chocolate chips over once they're melted. So let's get them melted. <sighs> so I've been staying at my sister's whilst they're Look on the holiday. The bowl sizes for her are so massive, dude. Holiday. Um, and last night she was texting me at like half 12, something like that. Can you please put the bins out? Um, so I was like going out in my pajamas at half. Um, oh, I didn't know that coming last week. At half 12. Um, yeah, in my wash them. PJs. Up we're up. gonna wash these. Are we gonna rinse them off a little bit? No rinsing. We're not gonna rinse them off, Becky. We're not gonna rinse them. All right, we're the not gonna rinse them. In there. Meant to be putting the dark chocolate chips in. No rinsing. These we don't. Going. Why do we need to rinse them? Forget about the. Forget about that. Okay, like all the pesticides and all this other stuff. The amoebas on there. No, don't rinse them. Don't even like have them be in the water for like a five minute. No, just throw them in there. Yeah. Why not? <laughs> it's fine. Though. Why? Well, what's even? Okay, look. 
why did we even put it in the bowl if we weren't going to use the bowl as like a way to wash them or like rinse them what was the purpose like we just wanted to do more dishes is that really what we're doing like just having extra for no other reason like why didn't we just take that why didn't we just take the packet it came in and just dump it in there what is the purpose of dumping it into the bowl and then taking that bowl and dumping that into the tray um okay whatever i you know what dude it's her fucking dishes bro whatever so you can't really see it inside, but I'm just gonna just spread them out like this. I'm also gonna. But why are we putting it into the bowl though? What is the purpose? Maybe have a little 700k celebration because I haven't had uh, one the whole yet. thing, huh? Damn. Um, that might be enough. I love dark chocolate. <laughs> Yo, Becky, get the fuck out of here, bro. What do you mean that might be enough? That's a lot, bro. What is the serving size on that? Like five, six servings, bro? God damn, bag is a lot of chocolate. I know it doesn't look like a lot of chocolate because the servings, the bowls she has, I don't know where she gets them. They're large. You guys ever watch that like you, the, the Jolly Green Giant or like who's that dude that had the beanstalk or whatever, the big giant on the top of the beanstalk? These are his bowls. For some reason, Becky has stolen them from him and now she's using them and she doesn't realize that these bowls are like two or three times the serving size as a regular bowl. So every time she looks in the bowls, it's like, it's not that much, right? Nah, that's a lot, Becky. That's a real big amount. It's melting. But yeah, I haven't had like a celebration yet and I'm so grateful to you all. And you know, I do it for every little milestone. Best ever. Some apple juice. Where's the water though? Who buys apple juice in a carton, dude? What are you Give them a mix. I've got. I... Okay, okay. Bring my. Um... Dude, her hands look so inflated, dude. It looks like she's been stung by a couple bees, man. But what are you doing back here, bro? What is this? You got like canola oil next to your sodas, bro? How many open bottles of soda you got here, dude? What the fuck is going on? I didn't bring my coconut oil. It's better if you put a bit of coconut oil in with them. Anything but water, huh, Becky? How long dark chocolate? And just drinking your calories away. Why not? Why not? The bloody milk. The bowl's roasting. Right, let's put this over. This is depressing, like I said, man. I don't know how it's going to turn out. It's not going to be like true. Oh, what do you mean you don't know how it's going to turn out? You're literally just glazing chocolate on top of raspberries. It's, there's not much technique involved. It's not like this is a, a skill that you had to learn from like Raza Ghul or something like that. Or like you had to go to like the Tibetan monks and find out how to get hit in the nuts 15 times and not feel it. No, this is – you're literally just glazing chocolate on top of fruit. It's not – like I, why, why are you like, oh, I don't know how it's going to turn out. It probably as much as any other chocolate that's been put on top of any other fruit. But we can wish. It's a bit like – can you see that? So I'm going to put this in the... <laughs> Yo, bro. It looks worse than I thought it was going to. You couldn't even properly distribute it. This one over here didn't even get, like, a little bit. <sighs> Freeze that and see how it goes. I just don't know why she doesn't just eat the chocolate. It would be way better than contaminating these shits. <laughs> Okay, so they've been in the freezer now for a while. Um, so yeah, my envision... You know she was checking on them, right? Like, you know she was, like, going in and out of that freezer every five minutes to check on that. She'd be like, is that good now? Is it good now? What about now? Is it good now? I should have put the dark chocolate on the bottom of the paper, then the raspberries. Um, but yeah, they still kind of work. Not as good as the true from, but let's give it a taste. It's just chocolate on top of fruit, so they were unwashed, by the way. Mm, look like this. You know, yeah, bro. You know what, Becky, bro? I just really don't think ta Becky has taste buds anymore, dude. At the rate that she's been going, uh, how she's been able to eat the way that she has for so long is actually an anomaly for me. I just checked like on her page and I looked at her old uploads, bro. She used to do cringy TikTok dances, which are you know not bad. I mean, they're cringy, but it is what it is. Um, especially knowing that Becky was like 22, no, my bad. Becky was like 29 while doing it. So it's actually kind of crazy, but regardless, uh, she used to do the TikTok dances, but then I saw slowly but surely that she was doing these mukbangs for, I think about four years now. She's been doing these things for about four years and she's been gaining weight slowly but surely over the time that she's been doing this shit. I mean, it makes sense. Obviously she's being encouraged. She has a negative, she's getting a positive feedback loop on the negative behavior. So it's consistently, and she's doing it every day. 
multiple times a day, by the way. And by the way, she's starting her day off like this. Like, these are her pajamas because she just woke up. So she's going to be eating the cake for breakfast. And now she got the chocolate-covered fruit for, for, for breakfast, too. And she has the audacity to sit there and say, I like them like this. With chocolate? I mean, anything's going to taste better with chocolate, I guess. But, like, is that really a reason to eat it, dude? There are plenty of days that I could easily, like, coat something in chocolate or eat something with chocolate. But I don't because I know what the fuck am I doing sitting here coating my food in chocolate, bro? Do you think my ancestors are, like, looking back down at me and going, this is good behavior on this guy's part? You know, like, all the years of that we fought for this guy to sit down in this house in a very overpriced apartment, apartment to eat fruits that have been glazed with chocolate, it, it, it'd just be disappointing. Like, I feel like I would literally be offending all of my ancestors. And I don't know why Becky doesn't, bro, but she's still living with some of her, her ancestors, her mom, right? Her mom and her dad, so. Oh, they taste For some reason, nobody in her life comes over and goes, hey, Becky, uh, I can't even see the knuckles on your fingers anymore. And it kind of looks like you have a, like, I don't even, I can't even really identify your body structure anymore. This needs to stop. Like, you know, me being your mom, me being your dad, me being your friend, I knew I would have done a disservice if I wasn't here to help you. So I'm here to help you. Becky is not good. It is not good. You be doing this shit too much. And uh, at least your friends, you know, lose friends. It is what it is, bro. If if you lose a friend in the process of telling them that they're doing something crazy, like, let's, let's be honest here for a second. If your friend was doing drugs, you would tell them. You would tell them it's not good, right? Consistently, and they would do it to the detriment? Of course you would. In the same way that Becky eating his food consistently would also be a negative on her. I mean, she could do whatever she wants. It's not against any rule or anything like that, but it's obviously doing a number on her, given the fact that I can't even identify where her hands start anymore. Pull my back. And she's, okay. and she's literally, like, in the morning time eating chocolate-covered fruit. Like she's like, this is what this is what a child would want to eat if you were like, I don't know, seven. This is this would be the preferred breakfast if you were seven. Oh yeah, look. I've had a little bit more. Wow. Dark chocolate on them. Wow. Would have been better, but just a quick and easy breakfast, just a nice. Dude, I gotta keep. It's, I'm I'm sorry, dude. This is not a quick and easy. This is not. You know what a quick and easy breakfast would be. Hard boiled eggs, some toast, and a coffee or a water or whatever your preferred caffeine intake is, bro. That would be a quick breakfast because you're not really doing shit. You're just boiling eggs and you're getting some toast. That's all right. This is not quick and easy. This is extra. And it, like, I don't know how long it took for those, uh, for the chocolate to freeze. There's that too. So, no, Becky, this is not a quick and easy breakfast. This is actually terrible for you. And you doing this shit every, you just had cake the other day for breakfast. Why is it this easy to eat terrible, disgusting food consistently? Can you do anything correct? Can there ever be a moment in your life that you try to eat normal food? Nice little treat. <laughs> you, why do you need a treat? Dude, the entire purpose of a treat is to, do you feed your dogs treats for nothing? Like you just give them treats because they just, because they, because they didn't earn it? No, you give somebody a treat because they did something that was extreme, that was a, a, an ordinary, something that was out of the, out, out of the ordinary, right? Maybe you graduated. Maybe you did something today where you think you deserve a treat. Not just waking up. Not just waking up and going, I deserve a treat. Why? What did you do? You're just eating to eat and you're coming up with excuses to eat. But I hope you all have a fabulous day and I love you all. Love you too. Bye guys. Love you. And she has chocolate all over her fucking hands, fingers. Look at this fucking shit, dude. Look at that. Look at shit. Look at this fucking shit right here, dude. This is what people died for. You know? You're all those all those generations of your family that got you here today, this is what you all die for. This right here. Hi, everyone, and welcome to my What Are You In A Day? By the way, uh, that's the same day. This this is the same day. I just want to point it out. This is the same day. Hi, everyone, and welcome to my What Are You In A Day? I feel like we haven't done one of these in a while. Anyway, I went out and I had to get one of these chocolate milkshakes. Now, I used to call them friages, but I know they're called fridge now. When I got back to my sister's, I tried one of these white chocolate choc pots. Oh my gosh, so delicious. Then a little bit later on, I sat down and had some bourbon creams. If you know me, you know that these are my ultimate favorite biscuit. I'd probably even choose these over any chocolate. How many did you eat? Keep it a buck. How many did you eat? You ate the box? Keep it a buck. Are as well. Had a nice cold glass of apple juice as well. In Where's the, the water? <laughs> then for tea, I got the Morris. <sighs> yeah, it was going well. 
It was going well. Damn, bro. These slices is the slices is big. Damn, I'll keep it a buck, Becky. Them slices is big, bro. Damn, Becky. Ooh, that shit's big, Becky. That shit's big. You got the onion rings and you got the garlic. Oh my god, bro. This is pizza deal, so I had pepperoni pizza. It was, just because it's a deal don't mean you gotta spend look, I get it. It's a deal. You didn't need to go in. It would have been an even better deal if you didn't spend any money on it. Onion rings, and then I had the garlic ciabatta bread that I got from Aldi. Oh, it's a different restaurant too, bro. She's got that shit at Aldi. She just put that shit on the side, bro. I overcooked it a little bit just because I left it in the air fryer for the same time as the onion rings. And the sauce that you get with that deal, the garlic and herb one. That's oh. probably like a 300, 400 calorie sauce. Don't come at me, dude. Oh my gosh, so yummy. The pizza was a little bit stringy with the cheese, which you know I don't like. But once I got over that, it was very delicious. What do you mean you got over it? Like, you just kind of like, yeah, I guess it is what it is. It's pizza at the end of the day. Like, I guess, Becky. Man, Becky got to calm the fuck down, bro. She been eating like this for way too... This is the same day that she had that chocolate. Those fucking... Those, the, 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 the raspberry coated chocolates, bro. <sighs> All right. That's the end of the video, guys. I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, you know, like, I have to torture myself anytime I watch Becky because her meals are literally extreme, but she doesn't feel like they are. Like, she just, this is just, like, a normality for her, which is also very extreme. Like, think about that. Put it in context. For her, that's a normal breakfast. For her, eating like this is normal. So, I mean, she's been doing this for a long time. Like, for me or you, this is not normal. It's like probably meeting a girl for the first time, and she goes... So, like, when are you going to put your foot in your, when are you going to put your foot in my vagina? And you go, well, what are you talking about? What do you mean, like, that's, what do you mean, when am I going to do that? Like, what do you, why is that even a thing on the agenda? But for her, because she's just been putting foot, feet in her vagina for, like, years, that's, like, normal for her. So, she just expects it. Like, I met a girl one time that literally told me that. She was like, I want you to put me on, like, I'm a pair of New Balance. Like, I want you to walk around with me. And I want you to, like, throw me around the room, too. And I'm just thinking, like, I don't know about that. Like, I don't know. It's not really for me, personally. She was like, I'm going to record. And I was like, I don't know. Like, pff, ah. maybe the foot part. Like, I can do that. But... I mean, what am I, what, if I put my foot in your vagina, like, whatever, like, it's not like it's bothering me, it might be a little bit uncomfortable for the foot, I guess, but it's not like I'm doing, like, Chinese foot binding in your vagina or something like that, I assume that your vagina is a little, you know, eligible to receive a foot, you know what I'm talking about, like, my feet are not exactly the biggest, so I don't think it's gonna be that bad, but rest assured, if I put my foot in your vagina, we're not having sex, like, that's, I'll put my foot in your vagina just for the ability for me to tell other people that I was able to put my foot in a, in a girl's vagina, but that's it. Like, I'm not, nah, like, you're not, I'm not thinking about that anymore. Your egg sack is undesirable to me at that point. But anyway, um, we're going to end the video. Uh, I, if you guys watched today's video, I'd appreciate it very big. Leave a like, comment, subscribe, sharing the video, all those things I'd appreciate tremendously. If you guys are subscribed or members of the channel, I want to thank you guys, especially you guys are all amazing, beautiful, spectacular people. Uh, if you want to hit the subscribe button, that would be much appreciated. If you want to become a member, that'd be much appreciated, but you don't have to do either of those things. You guys spending time with me today is beautiful. Thank you so much for doing that. Um, if you watch the video in its entirety and or you're here right now, leave it down below by typing in raspberries because that's the best, isn't it? Raspberries, man. I think they're a little bit gayer grapes, but it's okay. They're good regardless. I will put them in my mouth if I have them, but I never do have them. So I don't ever eat them. I've probably eaten raspberries four times in my life. They're very disappointing. Grapes are way better. But anyway, uh, I want to remind you today of how beautiful you are. I was watching you floss your teeth the other day, and I was actually enamored at the technique, the, the the technique that you were using on how you were able to floss your teeth accurately. And then I was also watching you brushing your teeth, and it was uh, nice. <laughs> wow. I like that. Do you mind if I brush your teeth with my toothbrush? Just, I want some of you inside of me. I just think you're beautiful. I just think you're amazing. I need all of you wants all of me all your curves and all your edges all your something something perfections or whatever i don't know dude i'm sorry uh sorry for being gay anyway um we're gonna end the video here uh if you want to check out my social media you can they'll be linked in the description of the channel and the description of this video enjoy the rest of your day guys peace